Hello humans, and welcome to this week's weekly shave yet again. This week, a bit of a special shave, not so much because of the razor, you all know this, single edge, gem, junior, plastic handle, top flip, with the blade in there, I can't remember how many shaves I got off this blade, I don't use it all that often, bought the blade to have con art shaving. So, they're not gem blades, but they're good. Good blades. No, this week's shave is a little bit special because I am using a chocolate melter as a lathering bowl. I had it set on two, as you can see. So, I have some scones, but I don't think they retain the heat very well, so I saw this trick online and decided to, to try it out. Now, I know it's summer, but summer in Denmark is uh, yeah, spring for the rest of the world, so thought I'd give it a try before it gets too hot to use. Today's brush is going to be my favorite skull handle brush and I got a new knot synthetic knot and it's very nice extremely soft so my favorite brush by far and I'm going to be using Arco plastic shearing soap And I'm also going to be using a cream because today I'm going to create a super leather, not an uber leather, but a super, which is the same as the uber leather, but without the glycerin. I'll do that in another shave. So we're going to. Load the brush. Just like that. And I'm going to take my Leah shaving cream and just dip it in like that. Coat the brush, and that's I always use the cream last when I do Uber and Super leathers because the cream will lock in the soap so it doesn't drip and spill out all over the place. So, just going to wet this little fine little thing here. It's not so bad mixing that with this. I've only done this a few times before, so. But, as you can see, stop. Fill out. And just you know, a little dip of water. This seems to be an excellent combination, the Arco and the Lea cream. It's thick and creamy. So you see the brush is thoroughly, so I'm gonna put that back. To get heated up, and then going to let it up. As you can see, it's got a nice splurge to it. Very cheap knot, paid I think maybe two and a half. Three pounds, so it's very nice from China, of course. On good old eBay, and then I'm gonna put the brush back into the bowl here and just let it sit and get even more heated up. I'll do the first pass with my Gem Junior and. 
the angle is completely different. It's almost vertical. Just shy of that, but as you can hear. Cuts the hair off nicely. This is not a an aggressive razor, even though it is. I guess you could call this an open comb, gem style open comb. I hope you can hear it. Gets a uh, nice audio feedback. Of course, first pass directly under. It is somewhat tricky, but right. I'll get in there on the next pass and on the last. So nice, nice first pass. <laughs> So let us see if they are all that nice. Nice, warm, leather, all is nice. Nice, nice I say. Now this, this is how warm leather is supposed to be. Very, very nice. Mm. Awesome. Back in you go. Come in the mouth. And then we're going to go across. really gets a lot of feedback from this one because of, probably because of the plastic handle actually it's about medium aggressive, uh, maybe just low medium, I think. But it has a nice cutting angle for getting the beard off, so it doesn't need to be that aggressive. And now here, on the upper lip, I can feel right in there. And take care of that, I couldn't get in the first pass. Mm. 
sweetness is the word of the day very nice just turn it down a notch so it doesn't uh, get too warm but since it's the last pass which is against as we all know And no problem getting directly under the nose. On the third and final pass. It's only the first pass under the nerve that's tricky. Otherwise, it's just fine. So don't let that deter you from trying a gem of any kind. If you've heard that, ah, it's very difficult to get under the nose and you can't clean it up and whatever. And that's true on the first pass. But only, only on the first pass. recommend you try a chocolate melter for the warm leather. It will keep a consistent temperature of whatever you set it to. So it will keep the leather really, really nice. As you can see, it does bite. It does bite indeed, so don't fool around with the gym. Feel like it with the gem? That's it. It's a fine shave. The gem never disappoints, and it's been a while since I've used it. And. Um, I 
can tell on my skin there's some stain. So. But like I said, I can't remember how many shaves I got out of this blade, so maybe it's the blade too as well as um, maybe a little bit rusty when it comes to uh, the gym. But I got PBS. Hopefully you can see that see it in this piss poor light I have. On my craptastic bathroom. Nah, it's a good bathroom. I like it. But the lighting is not the greatest for filming. So you can't have it all. Things up with cool water is always very important. Uh, cool the face down, close the pores. And the cold water will stop some of the nits and weevils you have. Sometimes all of them. Uh, so, and it's very refreshing, even in the winter. Uh, there we go. As you can see, it practically stopped. most of the little nicks I got. So, that was that. After shift time. What are we going to use? What are we going to use? Use, use, we're going to use some homemade aftershave again. I have in this old wash and go I found on my dad's attic from the 1980s, I would assume. But, it's good. Let's get a Some in there. Ah, oh, yeah, nice. Mm, rub it all in. There we go. So that was this week's shave, where I used good old Arco and Leah Professional Shaving Cream combined to a super leather and they go together weather, thick and creamy. I should maybe have added some more water but I'll do that next time. And I was using the Gem Junior and I'm gonna just pop up the blade and it says gem inside. I don't know if you can see that. Snap! And then just take the blade and just pat it down, just gently. Get all the droplets off and set it off to dry. Pop it open again. And the good thing about gems is that you can really get in them clean and good, dry them good and clean them good as well. So I will set that one off to dry as well. And last but not least, my skull brush and the In the chocolate melter. Very nice, very nice. 
complete success. No doubt about that. So that's a winner. Try it. Try the chocolate melter. Winter is coming soon, so go out and see if you can find a cheap one now. That would be my recommendation. So that's it. Thanks for watching. This week's shave. Um, next week there'll be another one, as usual. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you tune in again next week. And subscribe if you like these videos. Comment, like, whatever. And um, I'll see you next week. Till then, you know what to do.